Let's check out the new contextual toolbar from the latest updates in Photoshop. Also, if you want to check out the generative fill in Photoshop beta, you can click on the upper right corner and view that tutorial as well. Okay, so I got to start with the simple stuff, a blank artboard. You can see we got the toolbar going on and there's a quick button here, import image. You can click on and import your image, click on place. It's gonna place it and we got some new option. It can flip it horizontally or vertically if you want. I'm gonna press and hold out, scale it up, place it, click on the check mark, and then we got new options. So the main idea with this little toolbar is you got everything exactly next to you. So you can like select the model. You don't need to go up here in the menus to check it. You got the adjustment layers button here and it's gonna flip it exactly to the adjustment layer options. So it makes the workflow even faster. In this situation, I'm gonna click on remove background. And it did a pretty decent job with a little bit of errors, which I'm going to correct real quick. And as you can see, this toolbar is going to jump exactly where you're working and it can be a little bit annoying, but Adobe also thought of this. What you can do is position it where you want, for example, here, and I gotta go here to the three dots and click on pin bar position. This way you can work with ease without the toolbar interfering. You also can click on reset bar position. So it's gonna jump again wherever it wants or you also can deselect it, click on hide bar. If you want to reactivate the toolbar again, you can go to windows, go all the way down to the contextual toolbar. So what happens if I want to type in some text? I'm gonna select the typo tool, click and check this out. We got a new toolbar going on. On. It's switched automatically where you can switch up the colors. So I'm gonna go with some black, click OK, and you can switch up the font and also change up the size of the font. I also added some gradient overlay. I'm gonna put the text under the model. I'm gonna press and hold control, click on the text thumbnail. I gotta go click on the models mask, select the brush tool, make sure that you're on the black. And eventually I'm gonna highlight some of the text elements, for example, the letter N here. And these are some of the new awesome options of the contextual toolbar in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.